Bone, Chapter 31. Push back, Smiley. I'm pushing and pushing. We're trapped between a rock and a sharp place. Think of something, small mammal. King Duck is getting closer with every bite. Yes. Hurry. I don't want to die. You think of something. He's your king, isn't he? Well, not technically. We're deserters. Sir, my foot's asleep. Don't, don't move, move it. it. The slightest movement could put us in reach of those teeth. Okay, Phone Bone, really, what are we going to do? I, I don't know. I can't think. Just say the first thing that comes into your mind. <coughs> that way. Go that way. There's nothing that way except for sheer cliff face. So, what do you suggest? Diplomatic negotiations? Why not? The rat creatures are deserters. Let's hand them over. Yeah, King Duck said they would trade us. Maybe if you had them, he'd let us go. Yeah, wait. Now let's talk this over. Throw the rats! Ah. Help us, small mammal. Silence. I am not interested in bargaining for their meaningless lives. You will all die. Unless... Unless what? Unless you tell me the whereabouts of the one who bears the star. The choice is yours. Decide quickly. My patience is running out. The one who bears the star? That's the same name Rockjaw used for Phonybone. Why is everybody after our cousin? They think Phonybone wants to be the leader of the valley, remember? If you tell me where he is, I will spare your little friend the princess once we have restored order to the valley. The princess? You mean Thorn? Forget it! We'll never sell out our friends. We'll die first! <laughs> uh, look out! Go that way! Grab that kid! Come on. I'll get you. You won't escape. Give me a hand. Keep going. Farther up. All right, this is good. Hold up. Everybody accounted for? Where's Roderick? Roderick's missing. Anybody seen Roderick? Mm -mm. I haven't seen him. Have you seen him? Mm -mm. Hey! Mm -hmm. Smack! <laughs> Roderick! What's the big idea? Not friends. Smack! Hey, what did you hit me for? You're in the middle of escaping. Control yourself. Control myself? I'm a monster. Monsters don't control themselves. That's the whole idea. Well, you'd better start. Or else these nice little creatures won't help us escape from King Duck. Who, by the way, seems a little upset for that whole arm cutting off I thing. I noticed. He sure can hold a grudge, can't he? We are not helping you escape. Really? Why not? Because you hate all our parents. That's why not. See? That's what I was saying. We're natural enemies. To us, you guys all look like hors d'oeuvres. Can we discuss this from a safer vantage point, like, say, a slightly larger ledge? I don't care what anybody looks like to you, Fuzzface. Just don't stick them in your mouth. Got that? You're not the boss of me. Hey! It's not going to take King Duck long to find us, so here's the deal. Until we're off this ledge, we call a truce. That means we all work together. It also means nobody eats anybody, no matter what they look like. He's talking to you. Watch it, Birdstick. We agree to your terms, small mammal. Now get us out of here. Keep an eye on those two, Bottleby. Careful. I think we can go this way. Talk, talk, talk. Hold it. Oh no, oh no, now what is it? I think King Duck is right above us. We're doomed. He's just waiting for us. All right, all right, we're not doomed yet. Let's just think this through. Somehow we have to get to the safety of the trees down there, but we can't go straight down, it's too steep. We can't go back because King Duck destroyed the ledge. Up is out because that's where King Duck is now. You call this thing get through? Whatever you call it, it leaves only one way out. Forward. But, but we don't know where the ledge goes. Yes. What if it takes us right to King Duck? Or back to Rockjaw, the giant mountain lion. Don't forget about him. What choice do we have? Hold on. Hey, birds, can you see where this ledge goes? The ledge gets smaller and smaller, but farther ahead is a boulder fall. And if you can reach it, you might be able to work your way down to the trees. This is insane. It's stupid. Hey, nothing we've done so far has been unstupid, and we're still alive, aren't we? I can't really argue with that, but I feel like I should. Carry on, phone bone. Make a stupid decision. Right. Follow me. Look out! Uh-oh. You hear that? We've heard that sound before. It's King Duck's Locust! The bird! Me! Run! This is all your fault! Mine? You're the one who made us desert our posts, and now we're going to be punished! There's no escape. Oh, why do we desert our posts? Ah! Eee! Ignore them. They're just grasshoppers. They can't hurt you. We have to keep moving. Hold on to the cliff. Don't panic. And whatever you do, ah! Don't open your mouth. Ah! There's too many. I can't see. Be careful. They're swarming all over the ledge. Squish. It's getting slippery. Oh, gross. Whoop. Ah! What happened? Phone bone. Oh, no. I think he fell off the cliff. Phone bone. Hi. The locusts are leaving. I can see. Look down there. It's bone. He's hurt. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. The locusts are attacking him. Hey! Well, what do you know? They weren't after us at all. They want that bone creature. Whatever it leaves. Hang on, little pal. Help me, you guys. Bottle, give me your paw. Hurry up. I think those bugs trying to pick him up. Look out. <laughs> it's King Duck. He found us. Get back up here. No. I have to get those bugs off my cousin. Eek. Oof. Bottle B, let me go. I got him. They're picking him up. Oh, no. Wake up, man. Hey. What happened? Something 
fell out of Bones' backpack and scared off the locusts. Where's King Duck? He disappeared. Poof! Vanished in the thin air. Uh, is he okay? Ow, ow! Man, I fell in the exact same spot that just healed. Hey, what happened to the locust? Something in your backpack scared him off. Are you okay? Oh, check it out. It looks like a crown. Ooh, a crown. I bet it belongs to Thorn. What are you doing with that in your backpack, cuz? I had no idea what was in that bundle. Grandma Ben gave it to me and asked me to keep it safe. What else is in there? I grabbed some kind of metal shirt and this old medallion. Sss, put it away. What's the matter? The medallion, put it away. It is a bad thing. Sss. Put it away, Smiley. Okay, okay. That is what scared the locusts away. It is a dragon thing. A dreaming thing. A dreaming thing? Dreaming is part of the local belief system. Grandma Bed was telling me about it. You mean it's a religion? It's a religion for Grandma Bed and Thorn. Dreaming is a people world. Animal call it om om. It's the om of the earth. The earth hums? Of course it does. What a ridiculous question. Don't you hear it? Hmm. Nope. Sorry. Oh, come on. You got to hear it. How else could you learn to walk or talk or find food for yourself? If I didn't learn it in the fourth grade, it didn't need learning. <laughs> I hate to break it up, guys, but we can't stay here. We're not safe until we make it to the trees. What about you, Bone? Do you hear it? Well, actually, where we come from, there is no hum hum, so. That's not true. It's everywhere. It's stronger in some places, but it's everywhere. It's right. Didn't you feel it back at the old stone temple? Oh, man. The hum hum's always crazy at the old temple, but today it was scary. No kidding. That whole King Dark thing was intense. Yeah, he didn't look real. I thought he was real until he vanished. You mean he wasn't real? Oh my gosh, you think King Duck's part of a dream? Oh yeah, for sure. Sometimes when you go to the temple, you get nightmares. Whoa, whoa. Are you saying King Duck wasn't even there? We just dreamed it? Yeah, see? That's um -num. Now just hold on. What about all the racks that are cr What about all the rocks that are crashing down around us? A ledge crumbling out from under our feet. Things get crazy around that old temple. Folks say it was built on a ghost circle. I bet if we went back, the ledge would be in one piece. Oh, come on. We saw it. We felt it. You can feel stuff when you dream. Man, what did you say this temple was built on? A ghost circle. That's where the locusts come from. Very dangerous. If you step into one, you'll disappear. You guys are serious. Cool. Smiley, the guy who's after Phony Bone, he's called the Lord of the Locusts. Right, right. He probably controls the locusts, hence the name. I still don't understand how he could induce a mass hallucination like that. Maybe we should go back and make sure Phony's okay. This guy is after Thorn, too. She doesn't have any idea what she's up against. She's completely vulnerable. I'll say. The locusts can make her believe anything. Heck, they could make the whole valley believe anything. That's it. Grab your stuff. We have to get back and warn our friends. Aye, aye, Captain. You heard the man. Let's roll. You there. Open up your mouth. Why? Checking for small mammals. Anybody in there? Hello? 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 Okay, you're clean. Come on, Smiley. Get it in gear. Let's get off this mountain quick before some new crisis rears its ugly head.